Stress Free 2005. Uh, skeet, skeet. Yeah. Bring it late. 20 is the number of disgrace. Uh -huh. I seen this shit was written on your face. Come on. Pulling up pox like a clock tick tocks. I'm eating cereal and it ain't cold. Through my life here. Through my life, let's see. Dick Tracy. This guy's a master of black and white. I think. This was a huge, huge. Uh, I was so. I was really into Dick Tracy. Right before the movie came out, and then I hated the movie. Marvel Comics, of course. Gotta love. Gotta love Jack Kirby. Uh, let's see what else. Our crumb, of course. The best. Uh, let's see. Asterix. This is what I've been into lately. This guy, Mark Bell, from Canada. Uh, he really inspired me to like be totally, as, you know, weird and collagey and uh, experimental. I love his, I love his stuff. Actually, this is a bunch of guys, but. That whole scene It's awesome Imagine we was up a corn mountain Thermos Filipino in a maple syrup sun Trippier and skippier and never been to them It's not the worst part, but it's the first punk Let's see Oh, this is my newest I just went to Japan And I got really into Japanese monsters Ultra Ultraman oh, is yeah. awesome. Wait, wait, it's better book. Oh, this is. This is the best. Love it. Uh, oh, okay. This is the one. This was the one. Huge, huge influence on me. It's, it's like all these 70s sci fi covers. These are like all. These are the covers of novels, right? And this guy put all these together and made it like as if there was like an actual war going on and like describes each of the spaceships. And I got this when I was like a kid from a neighbor, and now I, I think it's like $150 on eBay. So this is like prize possession right here. <laughs> This is a guide to aliens from the 80s. These are like all alien species from different books that he... It's kind of like the other book, actually. Except he, like, he... These are all aliens that had never been drawn before, but they were from novels. And this is, of course, not that I really... I'm not a... I don't play Dungeons & Dragons, but the... These old uh, monster guides are, are awesome. Well, now I'm realizing they're all kind of the same thing. It's like they take some crazy drawing and then they like, just, you know, they like give you the facts about something fictional in a really, in a really serious way. Well, this is unfinished actually at the moment, but uh, this is um, something new I'm starting. It's like giant drawings of a very. Um, Techno organic type of futury sci fi type architecture and blueprint type drawings. Actually, can I sh yeah. um, show you here? This is a, this is how I'm doing it. First, I cut out tons of things and I collage them all together. And I spent a really long time on that. Um, <clears throat> and then, then I just start drawing it. I don't, I think I'm gonna leave it black and white, but I'm not sure. Probably. Yeah. I hung out with him last night. We went to go see uh, Man of Steel. Yeah, he's a good friend. Are you gonna interview him? We wanted to, but we hadn't like, he's, hmm. I literally, yeah, I was hanging out with him last night. He's going camping this weekend though. Next time, right? <laughs> That's funny. Here's uh, 
These are these are bigger sketchbooks. So I find some good stuff. This one's all green inside. Do a lot of like painting collages like this? Yeah, I got. I think that's what I. Uh, when you ask like how my art's changing, I think more and more I'm trying to use more, more color, more paint, fill up the page a lot more than I used to. Uh, really get experimental, no rules. Like this is, <laughs> you know, like the printer, the like printer cartridge. Oh yeah. I just started like it was like kind of done, so I was just like slamming it on the paper. <laughs> you get all kinds of crazy ink splatters and stuff. And, uh, weird stuff, man. Get weird. <laughs> Sketchbooks are for like experimenting. That's when I. Right. But then you know you think, pretend like no one's ever gonna see your sketchbook and get as weird as you can, and then. And then put that on, on your website because there's going to be some some of your best work is when you act. You know, it's not for anything in your mind. It's just you alone with your uh, with your drawings. Uh, this book was from the '80s. It's about it's you know the movie Labyrinth. This is like the design of all the goblins. It was an awesome book. Oh, I realized I have something for you guys. Yeah, um, we have so many back issues of this magazine. Okay, so, uh, me and four or five friends from college who we all studied illustration together we we printed up these we do about one a year of this magazine mammal and uh, each issue has like a different cover artist different theme my favorite one is what I did for the first issue um, kind of like the books I was showing you I made up this I made up my own country Kelv which is in, uh, it's a like Eastern European country. And I did like the entire history of the country here with illustrations. Yes, yes it is, you're a good eye. Uh, and I kind of made like a really factual, deadpan encyclopedia of this, of this fictional, surreal country. And I, I still plan on doing more with this, with this, uh, with this country, Kelv. This is a Beach Boys. <laughs> yeah. So for you.